So, why do you crave what you hate? Why do you prefer pessimistic thoughts? Why do you tend to gravitate toward that? Or, or self pity? Why do you like that? Why do you like to say stuff, real horrible stuff about yourself that you would fight somebody else if they said it to one of your friends? Why do, why do you crave that? Why do you feed yourself that? Feed yourself that. I always like to point out when we're talking about your phone is your pharaoh that most of the stuff that you're doing is called a feed. And have you noticed it doesn't really fill you? How many of you got off Instagram or Facebook one night this week and said, God, I just feel so fresh. I feel so ready for what's next. You know what? My faith in humanity is restored just seeing the comments of those who the Lord has appointed to speak into my life. Mmm. Garlic, onions, leeks. This is delicious. Listen, man, it's like it was in Egypt. They gave them bricks with no straw. That's what these social media apps are designed to do to us, to starve us and to keep us coming. Y'all better watch the documentary on Netflix. This crap is real, and it doesn't fill you. Your appetite for the wrong things is insatiable, and yet some of the stuff you crave isn't bad. It's just where are you going to go to get it? That's what I love. That's what I love about God. Is that he's got what I really want. So, let me ask you a question. Why would you run to Pharaoh to beg for something that your father can freely give you?